angry Most of us are strangely More alike than we like to believe Hey KZ family! It's your girl Kayla And you are at Kayla's corner Um, it's literally like midnight And this is like the time where I have like the most thoughts Let me turn down my music Shout out to Crosby, I love my record player. Um, so this is gonna be a personal video. Um, I'm gonna talk about how deciding to be a mom and how it changed my life for like the better. Um, so, I found out I was pregnant with Zion at 20. And this was a time in my life where I did, I felt like, you know, I was still having fun. I wasn't even 21 yet. I wanted to just do a lot more. And the moment I found out I was pregnant with Zion, my world completely changed. Completely. I was so nervous and I had so many family members who were like against me being pregnant, which I got, I understood at the time. I just, there was no way I was living with my mom. I wasn't ready. And I remember the day that I told my mom, the day that I told my mom that I was pregnant, that night I told her, Hey mom, I'm pregnant, but don't worry, I'm getting an abortion tomorrow. And I was just set, like I didn't really think about it. I was trying to be like as numb and as disconnected as possible. I never even wanted to have children. So it was like a, a shock. And Zion's dad was, 22, I thought I was 20. Yeah, he was 22 and I was 20. So we decided to go to the abortion clinic. And I know people go through this all the time where they're battling how this, this will affect their lives. I was there, I thought about it. And it was all, like I kept praying to God, give me a sign, give me a sign. And he he was giving me all sorts of signs, but I just wasn't really comprehending. Oh, excuse me. Good old Canada Drive. Um, so, I don't know why I burp so much when I drink soda. Um, so, what happened was we go to the, the women's clinic, Dante. Zion's dad drives me to the clinic and he waits outside because it's a woman's clinic. So he waits outside and I'm in there. They're asking me if I want to see the ultrasound. I want to know how far along I am and I got all that information. I don't know why I asked, but I, I wanted to know. And once they did the ultrasound, it was like a consultation. So we they make you go back in the waiting room. So I go in the waiting room and as I'm going in the waiting room, I run outside and I'm just getting reassurance that this is what we want to do. And he was telling me like, this is your body, whatever you want to do, like whatever you want, I'm going to be there for you regardless. So I was like, okay, we're, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So I go back in there and you know, they call me back in and they ask me what I want to do and the price and then everything. And I'm like, well, wait one moment. So then I, I, I run back outside and I'm like, I'm like asking him, like, is this what you wanna do? Like, it just gets me a little emotional. Is this what you wanna do? And he's like, um, it's whatever, whatever you wanna do, Kayla, it's your body. So I go back in and they have me just wait in the waiting room after I'm like, I got the price and everything. And I'm in the waiting room and I'm like, I'm close to, you know about to just go along with it because it's the same day process and this 
woman is sitting across from me and she's like full on belly like it was like big and I see her yelling at her belly like you did this to me and you're gonna ruin my life and I can't believe I'm in this situation like literally yelling at her stomach and I I like I got so disgusted I freaked out and I ran outside again to get reassurance this makes me a little emotional because of where I am today and um so I rush outside and I'm like you know, I don't know. I don't know if I could do this. I don't know. And he's like, well, whatever, you wanna leave. And when I'm like, I just don't know, I, this one of the nurses come outside and she's so rude. And she's like, we're not gonna keep chasing you. If you're gonna get this procedure done, you need to be here in this waiting room. I'm not gonna keep coming back looking for you. And I look at Dante and he looks at me and I was just like, I can't do it. And he was like, all right okay so we both decided like right then and there like I look in his eyes and I'm like you know I can't and thinking about it now like Zion he changed my life like, I definitely live for my son and when I made that decision to have him I literally like my life changed everyone was like you yeah, well you know, well, some people were like, you know, you're going to get stretch marks. You know, just trying to be negative about the situation. And I just stuck to it. I was like, you know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to have him. And I can honestly say it's the best decision I've ever made. Like, people can be against abortions, but you don't know what that person is going through. You you don't know their emotions or anything like there's there's reasons like I would never yeah I, I I'm all for having babies but you don't know what situation you're in me I was doing it for selfish reasons and I've been in situations before where I've made selfish decisions but thinking about Zion he changed my life mom is the best thing that has ever happened to me and I honestly I couldn't imagine imagine life without him he's literally my heart and human form and if you're struggling and you don't know if you're gonna be able to make it that person inside you can be person to give you the love the unconditional love that you've been feeling you're in a horrible situation I get it but you make the decision for you and what's best for you for sure but I couldn't imagine life without my son I decided to share this because I you know it was such a really serious experience for me where I still think about it because mentally having an abortion is such a hard thing to deal with and mentally preparing yourself is even harder just make sure you make the right decision not not everyone's choice is yours but That's just something that's very personal to me and it's just been heavy on my mind. But I'm so appreciative. And if Zion ever gets to see, gets to see this video when he gets older, I love you and you know, I'm young. I'm still learning every day. And you're the best. Thing that has ever happened to me if anything was to ever happen to me I want you to know that I love you and I lived for you and don't ever feel like you can't come to me and tell me all your worries because I'm going to be there for you 
that's just a message to Zion. And hopefully you won't see this video no time soon because he won't understand at all. But make the right choice for you. All right, KZ family. That is all I'm gonna do. This is my most vulnerable hour yet. And I decided to share a little bit of my life. That was just something. I just wanted to get a message. You're not alone. Some people just choose not to talk about it. Bye, Casey.